this is the updated version of the befriend group mates uh when you click on the extension after installing it you're going to see this login page right here uh, on the bottom here if you haven't registered your account yet you can click on this and create your account um, if you want to upgrade from a monthly plan to a one-time payment you can just go here and change your plan or even an annual plan as well if you would like to promote the product or even have the partnership plan you can tap in here so you log in after you log in, you'll see the option page. This is where you have multiple functions. When this first started, Befriend Groupmates was just an adding feature only, but now it has a messaging feature with the adding feature as well as a removal feature. So if you want to use the adding feature, you just go click here. And then here it shows you the first page where it shows how many seconds between each invite. Ideally, you do about 60 seconds at minimum um, for anywhere from under 50 or under um, you know friends to invite right so 50 for this demonstration that's just 10 right um, I'll probably do 30 just for demonstration purposes but if you're gonna do more than you know like 50 it has to be a minimum at least 60 seconds or anywhere always use 60 just to be on the safe side especially if this is your first time using it because your um, account hasn't really been warmed up yet. So when you start to add a lot more people than you usually do, um, that can become a red flag. On this third row here, it shows the friends you can invite today based on your account, depending on what plan that you purchase. Your um, it's it's a way to protect you so you don't add too many people. Um, but yeah, it's you definitely it's possible to add a thousand people, but you have to do it strategically. If you're new to this, definitely don't do a hundred. Uh, 1,000 or even 300 at first. You have to do it in batch patches. Batches, batches. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, and, and then the, the last row is going to be the messaging, right? Um, you can create your template here, right? So you can see how I created a high template. This is for a very generic um, introduction. That way you can start your conversation and you can initiate conversation because, you know, the worst thing is you, you send an invite, add friends, and they don't really respond back to you. Um, if they do look at your message, at least you can see that they've seen it. But this way, if you really start the conversation and really just ask them, how are they, you know, what are they doing and, and so forth. It would help to specify what group you saw them in. So here I mentioned that you're in a CF ClickFunnels affiliate. So I'm going to target the ClickFunnels group and, just, you know, just asking them generally. I'm not selling anything, no links or anything. Just, the, you know, how are you doing with C CF? You save it, then go back, and you can select this as a template. Then you make sure you click this update. If this update is not highlighted, then it's you need to change the number here, right? Just so it can activate this blue light. Once you click that blue button, it's going to automatically go into the second page where you can choose your group. You need to refresh your group. And then if you're already logged in to Facebook, it should automatically find your group. If not, make sure you log in first um, because in your cache, in your data, in your web browser data, it, that's where it can find your login details. Um, but you, as you can see here, here's my window tabs. I don't have Facebook open. Yeah, I, I've already logged in. It remembers it, but I don't need to have it on. Anyways, I could target whatever group I wanted to target, right? So with funnels, right? And then just click active you click that button that button is going to click from inactive to active and you're going to see that it's going to be working uh, i'm going to pause this just so you don't waste time so the way that it works is it looks at all these posts like 42 posts the recent posts and it's going to go through um you know all the people who are engaging who like who comment to um, heart the post and add those people who are engaging first because those people are more likely to respond to your um, message. Once it retrieves those, you know, whatever number you put in, then it's going to show the people who were added and also send that message too if you enable that message feature. So you can see here it's added one person, this outward person. So if I click that person here, it's going to open that new tab to their um, to their profile and you can see the friend request has been sent um, a new window just to show that Facebook that you know we are not bots a new window will open to send that message uh, 
let's see going back here if you click out of the extension and click back in it's going to always show the first page so you have to go into the status page right here and you're going to see this check button it's going to show who's been added right so headlong you can click that one you'll see sent the request to him same thing okay so let's go with number four kundan kundan haven't been added yet because remember, we put a 30 second interval. That means it waits 30 seconds before it sends the next invite. That way it doesn't seem too spammy. Check the status again. It, here it sends the message, right? Boom. And then as we're waiting, You can see here, there's that check mark already. They sent a message as well as added this Kundan. If you refresh this page, I'm gonna press F5. The friend request has been sent. You can even clarify or verify that it's working by going to your messengers. And you can see how it sent these last <clears throat> messages here. So yes, it is working. All right, so I'm gonna stop this. When you stop this, you click on this tab right here. Let's say you wanna stop it midway, right? You wanna make sure that it stopped completely. Um, and it should. So you can see no more adding, no more, no more box popping up. Shouldn't be adding there. All right, it's inactive now. So let's change mode and let's say you want to remove some friends, especially the inactive friends, um, because they're dragging down your engagement rate. You're gonna go back, change mode, click remove friends and a new tab will open. Okay, and from here, you're gonna click this black button first, update friends list. It's probably gonna be blank for you. Um, pretty soon, we're gonna move this black button onto the left side here. Uh, just so, so it would be better understood that that is the first button you'll click. The second button you'll click is that green update friend data one because right now it needs to update or load all the friends first. Okay, so let's click this black button. Depending on how many friends you have, this may take some time. So please be patient. It opens the window just to look for it. But again, you can click out of it um, and just do your own thing right okay so i'm going to pause this so and come back when it's fully loaded so you'll see here after it loaded it you don't really see any friends because um no data has been uploaded so the next button you're going to click is that green button update friends list and you're going to choose the time frame do you want to look at the last week or last month maybe last three months last six months um, typically, most people like to clear it about, on average, three months uh, because that gives enough time for new people that you've added to really engage in your posts and to see them, see and engage in them. So three posts, and depending on how often you post, anywhere could be 10 or 30 posts. So let's just do 10 and start. Okay, and I'll come back when it's fully loaded. All right, and we are back. You, you can see all the data has been loaded. Um, it will show the likes, hearts, comments, field stories, shares, and total actions. On the top here, you'll see these tabs. The active tabs are the people who are engaging in your posts on your wall. The inactive ones are obviously the people who are not engaging, so it, it will show all zero. Uh, here's our VIP list where the people you add to not be deleted, right? And here's the deleted list. Um, I'm just gonna clear this out. So typically people, you know, they might look at this active list and just to see who's active and are they giving more hearts, likes, are they commenting? Uh, perhaps they could adjust their posts to really entice people to give more hearts than likes, for example. Um, let's see, go, most people will eventually go to this inactive list and that's where the fun part happens where you start deleting people oftentimes i will start on the last page um, because that's where the most inactive people are so here it says eight out of 100 rows that's 
800 people total, roughly. The last page sometimes will have fewer people. So you can see these people are probably the ones that um, are the least engaging. So I would most likely delete there. So you can click, right? Or you could just click select all from this page here, um, just this page, so 100 people. Or you could just select all, but obviously I don't recommend that. I do not recommend deleting all at once. When you're doing this, ideally you delete about no more than 20 when you first start. And typically that would be a safe number because if you automatically delete you know, more, more than usual, then Facebook may uh, flag you. So no more than 20. So here you can actually easily uh let's see change it to a 20 rows 20 rows here right and you see how it's like because it's only showing 20 per row page you can go to 38 see how that is seems like it's less than that so i could just click this page and it doesn't even have to be 20 people there's some people that i don't want to delete because i know them Anyway, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight. So let's do that. And then we're just going to remove them. Just to see. Okay, so it's going to start adding to removal friends. Um, it opens up another window and it just deletes them. It runs a certain time frame. That way, Facebook doesn't detect it as a bot. And just be patient. You can do your other things. Go here, maybe check some email. Or just leave it on. You can open another tab, work on other computer. Yeah. Seven. Working on seven. You can see who these people are. Not engaging. They don't care for your content, not your dream 100, not even your audience. So it's okay. You can always friend them again if you like, but at this time, they do not matter in your business. Mm -hmm. All right. So they would appear on your deleted list here. And you can see by clicking their name, I'll click the first three. They are not friends anymore. Right? You can see here. They're not friends anymore. Not friends anymore. And that is the removal feature. Again, no more than 20. Probably just do probably safe. 5, 10 at first. Eventually, you're going to start bulk deleting because you can do this several times. If you're going to run it several times, do no more than 20 at this time because you still have to warm up your system. All right. Uh, I hope this helped. And um, if you have any questions, just reach out to me or post in the Facebook group. All right. Thanks.